Like many people today, farmers are increasingly being asked to measure and reduce their carbon footprint. But how can they do that? Who can help? Other food businesses also need to understand their carbon dioxide emissions. The carbon footprint of foods depends on a number of factors and varies quite widely. We could have chosen any food, but this film looks at the carbon emissions associated with growing, harvesting and transporting potatoes, which actually have a relatively small carbon footprint compared to other foods. Where do the carbon emissions of a kilo of potatoes come from? Emissions vary depending on how the potato is grown, stored and transported. In this example, we are going to look at potatoes that have been harvested in autumn, stored over the winter and eaten in spring. The biggest contribution is that associated with the production of fertilizers. This is the actual volume of carbon dioxide gas emitted for each kilo of potatoes. Emissions are also created by the production of electricity used to operate coal storage facilities before potatoes leave the farm. In this example, potatoes have been stored over winter. Potatoes are a bulky item to transport, so the next biggest contribution is in transport emissions from farm to supermarket or greengrocery and the rest comes from other activities, such as growing the seed potatoes and irrigation. Surprisingly, less than 5% comes from tractor operations in the field. This then is the total volume of carbon dioxide from a single kilo of potatoes. To see the impact of a whole farm, we need to change the scale. This is a typical farm growing 200 hectares of potatoes. The annual output of such a farm is about 9,000 tonnes of potatoes. That's a lot of potatoes. The footprint of this farm is 1,620 tonnes of carbon dioxide equivalent, enough to fill a cube this size. Farming is a major contributor to the UK's total carbon footprint. Potatoes actually have a low carbon footprint compared to many other food products. However, there are still improvements that can be made. The biggest carbon savings can be made from efficient fertiliser use. Firstly, implementing a well-designed fertilizer plan using techniques that avoid nutrient losses and make best use of nutrients already in the soil. Secondly, purchasing only low-carbon fertilizers made in the most efficient factories. Coal storage emissions too can be reduced with good management practices, energy monitoring, improved insulation and high-efficiency fans and motors. In addition, some farms may be suitable for the installation of photovoltaic panels or wind turbines a source of zero carbon electricity. Road transport emissions can be reduced by up to 42 tonnes by implementing driver training and investing in technical and logistic efficiency measures. Other measures include effective irrigation management. ADAS estimate if a typical potato farmer were to implement these measures, then 14% of the potato carbon footprint would be saved from entering the atmosphere every year. Many of these measures will reduce costs too. That's something to smile about.